Welcome back everyone. We're going to go over step one, getting Unity set up for Windows Mixed Reality. First thing we're going to do is launch Unity. Launching Unity, you'll come across a nice little prompt that gives you a list of projects to load from. If it's your first time, there won't be one. What you're going to go is go to the top right where it says New. Click New and it'll ask you for a name for your new project. I will just name this one Windows MR Tutorial. You can name yours whatever you want. We'll just go on to the bottom right and create project. This is where it's going to just load for a bit. Now we're back in Unity. We got our project opened. What we need to do is import the package from Microsoft's HoloLens toolkit. So we're going to go online and we're going to go to Microsoft's GitHub. The link will be provided in the description. Once you arrive at the page, you're going to look for the releases button here. In this tab, they'll have the latest version of the Hollow Toolkit made for Unity. You'll see in this case we have just the 2017 0.2, 1.1, 0.1 patch release. Just get the most latest version for yourself. And you'll here, here you can see four options. We just want the top one here. That's just the Unity package, not the examples. Click on that one and get the download going. Once your download is finished, find it in your folder. So we're just gonna go show in folder and you'll see where it's been downloaded. I have it here, the Hollow Toolkit Unity. <clears throat> now back in Unity, what we're going to do is have the folder open and we're going to click and drag that into our Assets folder. Go right into our Projects tab, click and drag, and then you'll see a prompt loading screen come up. And now it's just preparing the package and then it'll give you a list of things to import. We just leave all selected when this prompt appears. And at the bottom right, you'll see the Import button. Click on that and then the package will begin to import. Once it's finished importing, you'll notice that there's another option at the top of your editor called Mixed Reality Toolkit. Click on that and then look for the Configure option. It's the first one there and then right next to it is the Apply Mixed Reality, Apply Mixed Reality Project Settings. Click on that and another prompt appears. Make sure all of them are selected except Enable Sharing Devices. These are essentially all the permissions your, uh, your application is going to request. Click on Apply at the bottom right and we're just holding on for it to compile all of its scripts. Now, once you've successfully applied those settings, there's sometimes a bug where you have to make sure that you have applied them successfully. So you go back into Mixed Reality Toolkit, click Configure, and again, apply Mixed Reality Project Settings. And as you can see, they didn't save, so you have to apply it a second time. And now we're just gonna go back and make sure that this time they are saved. So Mixed Reality Configure, apply Project Settings, and voila, this time there they are saved. So I'm going to close out of that and now just going to save our scene. So the top left, you're going to click on File and Save Scenes. And just name it whatever you like. I'm just going to name this one Base because this will be the base of our project. All right, so next what we're going to do is go to the Build Settings option. So you go up to top left File, look down for Build Settings, the third from the bottom. And then you're going to just add the open scene. So we saved it and we're going to go under debugging option. We're going to look for Unity C Sharp projects and just going to click that to make sure it's checked off. Next thing you're going to do is go back into the Mixed Reality Toolkit option. So I'm going to close build settings, click over here and go to configure. And I'm going to look for the apply UWP capability settings option. I click on that one and a list of permissions will appear. So these are the, these are the permissions your application will ask the user. And I'm just going to click on microphone because that's what the Windows Mixed Reality headset requires. The others you can choose as well if you want your application to use those. And then I'm going to click on the bottom right to apply. The next thing we're going to do is get rid of the main camera from our scene because when you import the Mixed Reality Toolkit, it comes with a prefab that is actually the headset in the scene. So let's get rid of main camera just so that it doesn't interfere with ours. And then we're going to search for the Mixed Reality Camera Parent. That's the object we need. So we go down to our Projects tab and then right above where it says Assets, far right to the Create button, we're going to click in there in the search icon right next to it and the search bar will type in Mixed Reality Camera Parent. 
and you'll notice this nice square up here that says mixed reality camera parent at the bottom there. Click on that and you'll see that in the inspector window it's named the same. Click and that, drag that into our scene. Click and drag that into our scene. In the hierarchy tab, bam, you'll see it appear. That is the HMD. That is your head mounted display and that's where we're going to get our controllers from as well. Next thing we're going to do is bring in the input manager to our scene. Back where we search for the mixed reality camera parent, we're going to type in input manager. This is going to let us handle all those controller inputs. You're looking for this prefab here in the blue cube that appears in your projects tab. Click and drag that into the hierarchy tab once again, just like you did before with the camera parent. And bam, now we have the input manager in our scene. And the last thing we're going to import is the default cursor. So go back into your search icon, your little search bar there, and we're going to type in default cursor. And just like the input manager, it's another prefab. We're going to look for that in our projects tab. Click and drag that into the hierarchy tab, and bam, you have all the assets that you need from the MR toolkit in your scene. So save your scene, top left file, save scenes, and you're ready to go.